financial gain involved, especially if these lessons involve contracts. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Definitely appreciate all of the newcomers and returners for your continued support. If you hadn't already, hit the subscription button. The like button, if it resonates, you can wait till the end or do it now so that you don't forget. <laughs> In the description box, there's a lot of information about me, my products and services, a link to the Etsy store, and our membership platform where the extended to this video will be made available. Check the community board here on YouTube. It's where I post a lot of the products and specials close up. A lot of our alerts, cool, it's kind of like, you know, our community board, right? Where we kind of integrate and intertwine with each other. I post a lot of you guys' pictures. Love reading your comments. And like I said, for the newcomers, we have the join feature here on YouTube. So check that out. Check out the store. Cute little merchandise for you, your children, your pets. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and get started with the reading. I like to do an introduction. And then we get into a Celtic cross spread. The clarifiers and the pick a card is in the extended so if you're interested in that you know don't want to hold it over your head but that is something that will be available to you guys at the end of the video interesting enough the last daily vibe that i did because yesterday we did this community live for the collective so i shuffle these cards out you know i'm just the messenger i have no agenda uh, think, I think that it's interesting, though, that the other day we had the divine feminine energy um, really, you know, dominating the reading. And now the first card out is divine masculine. So we will start with that. Could be a, a, an issue of the past for some of you guys presently. But we have the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. So still the kindness and wisdom aspect, but something about strong focus, okay? An active side, allowing it to express itself. I also saw the solar plexus. Now, you know, if you know me in this channel, that I look at synchronicities, you know, and as a research major, you know, and it's also a hobby of mine. I do kind of like have a thing for putting look two and two together. <laughs> just noticing patterns, you know, not in my own life, not just on YouTube, anywhere. I don't know. I have a knit, a net, what is it, a niche for it? But I do recall <laughs> maybe a few months before this time last year, but the solar plexus. Um, was very strong with the masculine energy. And those of you that are into like the whole 11-11 twin flame thing, I, I just do recall it being a thing, right? Um, those of you that could be in separation where you have kind of like these sporadic memories, urges, uh, conversations. Um, and I don't mean karmic. So anything that isn't healthy for you, that is blatantly and clearly, factually, like out of the picture and non-existing, not that. And if it's not about another person, it's still like an aspect within you where, like the card says, there has to be like the strong focus and something about the active side. And so the solar plexus, that's like the willpower and that's like the sun and masculinity. So these cards coming out together. Um, and I'll just show you because it was at the, the bottom of the deck. So I just took it to look at. But here you have it, right? So I looked at that with this masculine energy and I was like, okay, I've seen that before. Now here in the center and on my channel, I do like a current situation, challenge, solution or advice and sometimes it's like past present futuristically right and i noticed that we've been getting a lot of fives a lot of threes a lot of twos and so here the 23 is a five <laughs> then we have you know the 22 and the three and then together you know the outcome or whatever we have perception so let your perception guide you through this reading but in the center, we have the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origins and frequencies. 
It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. Anytime I hear grace, I think about the strength card, which is also a duality of masculine and feminine energy. It talks about the ego, humility, but we'll just take dynamic, okay? The ability to harmonize. Maybe harmonizing some of that strong energy or harmonizing something, um, focusing in on something, right? The sense of self. I don't know if for some of you, if that is the ego. And then here we have perception. So it's based on like how you see it, kind of. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity, moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and take a good, hard, deep look at it. And I like to do that. Personally, I do like to challenge myself. And I to be open right this may be an energy or advice that you need but just be open in things that you believe and things that you perceive to be true and what you see to be reality and who you think you are and what's going on around you all of that um someone looking at the same scene could see something differently <laughs> so that said it's like reality is based on our own perspectives and then there's also truth, right? Truth cannot be hidden or altered. So we start the reading out with a seven of wands, okay? This is going to tell me a little bit about resistance. It also talks about potential blocks, something that, and if not blocks, it's like something that you're not seeing, okay? Others of you, it also kind of gives me uh, an energy of like the moon kind of overshadowing this solar plexus, sun, masculine kind of energy. And so when I think about the moon, I think about it still being a reflection of you or a reflection of something, right? A part of something, a piece of something, but maybe the shadow side of it. For others of you, the Seven of Wands is also this energy of frustration. I think about when I look at this, because this wand is lit, it's on fire. And then you got the other ones around it, almost like a caution symbol or something like that. Okay. So, bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, right? There could be something that I feel sparks or ignites a change, all right? Don't wanna say that it's for the worst, but I do wanna set the expectation that it's definitely a change, okay? Let's see why. Oh, we have the Six of Wands. So, either others around you, this is about them, or this is about you. I see peace. And then I see that peace disturbed. I see you becoming aware of something that could cause a little bit of friction. Now, I don't know if this friction is like hot, heated, passionate, being turned on, or frustration. Okay, so we will see. A lot of wands here. Center of the reading that's a lot of fire. We have the king of wands. We have that fire. We don't have the serpent yet. Whatever it means. We don't have it yet. But I do see this roundabout energy. Roundabout energy. So if I take the six of wands and like put two and two together, this, this reward, this crown... I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be mastering your either creative levels, containing yourselves, you know, if you or someone in your environment has like this strong sexual kind of thing, I do feel like it'll be tamed. Others of you that could have like strong creative abilities, I feel like they'll be understood. And if not understood, those will be the various things that frustrate you. So sexually frustrated or 
like you have so many ideas you can't even put them together at once kind of frustrated now others of you where this is like leadership you've been through a hard time you've had to per persevere through something and um i feel like there's something coming to you that you'd like because of something that could have been a little bit uncomfortable in the past okay now as i said in the past i see the five of cups i see the king of cups see this thing of containing yourself and still moving forward through some type of turbulence is what i see you learned a lesson in something okay and i just want one card because it just told me the whole story but i feel like you've learned your lesson in something and you've moved forward yeah you've moved forward now maybe you were stuck in the past okay but i feel like you've moved forward and you're learning to harness the energy you're learning to adapt through isolation aggravation sexual shit um and it doesn't have to be there for some of you guys but when i see fire i think passion i think creativity i could also think excitement and like adventure so maybe in the past something internal you being inside this whole quarantine situation could have been a thing you waiting on something you feeling stuck in something and then all of this fire is either because it's like old school that kind of reminds me of somebody saying putting fire under your ass you know to get you out of habits to get you out of a dimension to get you out of a relationship out of a job out of something it's a spark and it doesn't have to be a bad spark but it's general so if you do want a more personalized you know approach then you know get the pick up do do the pick a card at the end of the reading but i have contentment with things that are unsettling something that you didn't want to happen happened and i feel like you overcame that some of you this could have been decision making it could have been a project and i feel like if there was any confusion, because some of us could get aggravated with the inability to move forward, is confusion. Because if you weren't confused, you would come up with whatever it took, the idea, the notion, taking the steps, whatever to get you forward, you would do that. But when you don't do that, that means that there is some confusion, some insecurity, some fear, something. And I feel like you get out of that because you focus on the greater... Thing, your abundance, true love, self-love, inner peace, a new beginning, could be children because of this Ace of Cups. Um, but it's something really pleasant. I love the Ace of Cups. And others of you, this could be something that like eats you up in the back of your mind, you know, because I think about the cups as our subconscious also, or our consciousness, right? And so the Eight of Cups... Traditionally, it's like a loss of some sort, but I don't feel that. I feel the Eight of Cups is walking away from the Seven of Cups, which is fear, addiction, confusion, and being in the energy of selection, choice, right? Some of y'all, it's like you got this selective ass memory, and then it's like, oh, I get it. Um, and I think about the journey of the Cups. So you come out the Seven of Cups, you arrive at the Eight of Cups, to get to usually people say your other two cups but this is just like one cup so either you're gonna be sharing this cup with somebody or this is just about you and your abundance and your path and your purpose okay i did see the four of cups which talks about there's more than enough where you're going some people say the four of cups talks about abandoned ship like abandonment like not living up to the obligation to your full potential um disregarding something all right or if there was an agreement of some sort in work in a relationship in a friendship in a partnership somebody not doing what they were supposed to do okay and it's like that pissed me off because i deserved it you know whatever i look at the four of cups as having more than enough you know accepting things as they are 
and then being given something because of that, which is a reward. Okay, so I like it for some, but we'll clarify it and see what this Ace of Cups is about. Or maybe it's that seventh cup, you know, in the um, the confusion of the seven of cups in this deck. There's just like this one cup above the rest of the cups. And you have to like fight through a lot of things growing up, the stars aligning, walking your path or whatever the case may be to get to that particular cup. And this is what's crowning you, I feel, is that cup. All right. So futuristically speaking, where we're headed with this. OK, well, they wanted to talk now and it's like, oh, let me get a good shuffle where we are headed with this cup. This is what crossed that sun energy that we started with, with the masculine. So here's that feminine energy. Is it the divine feminine that is blocking out this situation? I feel that someone may be resisting seeing something for what it is, paying attention to the sign. Um, I see the page of pentacles as potential. It's like... For some of you, what well, we talked about a model or an example, a prototype, your body or just the the nature of you, the nakedness, right? Because they always kind of associate this with modeling or being observed. And for the six of wands to come out, which talks about something being observed, others being around, noticing something um, and it being the focus I feel like somebody could be avoiding that or we talked about focus in the divine masculine, right? Remember, it was like that energy of harnessing. Let me pull it back up. It was like that energy of harnessing, focused, our active side, allowing it to express itself. So something about exp self-expression, right? Something about allowing it to express itself while helping us bring our dreams and ideas into form. And this is like something coming into form with the page of pentacles and look, okay, make it up. There's the seven of cups. So that's what I got. Now, either this is like about duality in you, or I'm thinking or seeing, you know, two people, now, this is the divine masculine energy, okay? Because I have always said on my channel that the king of wands is kind of like the masculine man of man energy. So, if it's not about an actual male, you know, like a gender male, it's about the dominant energy, the divine masculine energy. And it's like resistance. Well, what are they resisting? Seeing something for what it is, accepting something, you know, it's like, I'm giving you praise. I'm giving you, this could be the divine feminine. Like I'm giving you my love, you know, I'm giving you, here she is, right? I'm giving you something and it's kind of like overshadowing something else. And then even here is the sun energy and it's like stuck in this limbo of non-movement. Okay, so if we thought about this as something you are being made aware of or something that you need to be made aware of, here's that, okay? And then so now we have these two energies with past and future. I know you can't see it, but we have past. I'll do it like this. We have past and future with this current energy so something about the past and something about the future and then here again are seven wands with the king wand and the six of wands and so i think this is kind of nice i think it's recognition okay 
But the past being with the sun energy and the future being with the moon energy is probably something we're going to figure out. All right. Now, moving on along. I like to say the challenging aspect. What's the worst that can happen? What is this reward? Okay. Not fitting in. Not um, in, endings and beginnings. I feel like for some of you guys, this is financial. A reward that is being given to you for coming out of this stuck energy. Right? I did see the Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. So some of you guys, it's kind of like you could be frustrated about car trouble. And hopefully it's not at night. Okay. Others of you, it could be something that you're taking care of or something needs to be taken care of. An obligation of some sort. All right. Maybe I'm making you aware of something. Now, for some people, it's a reward. And look at that. <laughs> for others of you, I'm making you aware of something. And the challenge is you seeing it or accepting it. But here again, we have the sun and the moon. And that is this current energy. So seeing and not seeing. Communication, transportation. Um, the chariot is usually driven by the king of wands because it's that force energy that is a multiplex of energies within an energy so i think about the sun the moon and the star we had the page come out with the potential with the paying attention with the detail with the sign right and it's like usually seeing the sign it's like if i had a stick and a carrot, and whoever eats carrots, I was sitting on its back, and it was moving forward because it saw the carrot. That's like the page, I think, for me. Um, and then the sun and the moon, I feel, is the feminine and masculine energy. So it's kind of like the driving force, an additional element of some sort, and then the, the reason behind something is what I got. And so I feel like that's the environment. I'm going to sit there here. I feel like that's the environment. That's what I think. Now, somebody wants an understanding about something. Somebody's waiting on an answer for someone. Someone wants to communicate. But it's like there's a block. There's some distrust. There's some miscommunications. There's some, I don't know which way to go. I'm being pulled in a few different directions. Ha. <sighs> and we have the lovers. So somebody kind of fears trust. Somebody got trust issues. Um, also, someone has a gift. Some of you here may be wondering, like, what are my gifts? How do I unlock my gifts? And I'm kind of seeing it's like in the center. So that's like the heart center hidden. Um, and it's like the, the messages. Now, this is sweet. That's deep. I usually save that for source. But I, I just like for the first time ever kind of got this a, a hidden message from I don't know if it's source for some of you. Passed on lovers is what I got. Loved ones, but I think lovers, but whoever. It's like I there's a message for you in your heart. Maybe I don't know how people communicate on the other side. You know, I'm just the messenger and y'all be hitting me back with all this stuff that come to life and that's on the news. And I'll be like, what? But there's this thing where there's some communication and it's like, I have to hide it or it had to be hidden to get here. And then even look at this, where where we have the moon, it's like, what is that? Quarter moon? New moon? I don't know, it's a little piece. And then over here, it's like the exact opposite. See that? I'm so like, I told y'all I just be looking at everything. So exact opposite. And here's this road or here's this path to it. Being at the center of that, 
being at the center of an unknown place, out of your comfort zone. I'm giving you this because you did it. Because you took control of your life, I think. You used to wait for others to give you answers and signs or something like that. And it's like you chose to dig deeper. And that's kind of cool. For others of you, it's like something is hidden in the center Something about going a distance. And it's like away from something. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool. If I were to think about the, the, the light codes, I'm getting 1225. And if you ask me why, because I'm silly like that, I know the story of the sun and how it, for three days it goes to like one of the darkest places away from Earth. Um, it's like a solstice or something. I ain't sure, but it's like totally, it's like the darkest time because the sun is the furthest away. Then it comes back. And then, so I'm thinking about that. And so I thought about how they associated like holidays with that whole astrological thing. And I know 1225 is like a, a light code that I saw a long time for a while. So I know it's a thing. Sometimes you guys see it. I don't know. But I saw it. So in your hopes and fears, that's kind of cool. Somebody's going the distance. It's like... <sighs> now, this is more of a fear. Because I'm looking at the devil card. It talks about Capricorn. I see the seven of cups. I'll just show you. When I said in your hopes and fears, these cards came out of my hand. Multiple opportunities... A happy ending and something that is very unrealistic that um that I don't think you're going to believe <laughs> it doesn't make sense the seven of cups the four of swords it does not make sense but the ten of cups says that it's like a, a cross and then just like the two of swords this cross or going across, going the distance, and then here's the bridge, and we talked about bridges. So some of you guys are going to miraculously get a reward that does make no fucking sense at all from the divine, specifically so that you could see or believe, you know, that it was given to you from source. Others of you, if this is about another person, somebody is like, Purposefully being separated from you because of confusion, family matters, and could even be dealing with losses. It's kind of like if you were in love with somebody and they were dating somebody and then the, they, the person they're dating lost a parent or a kid or a sibling. It's kind of like, I'm, I, this is a hard time for me to leave them right now. You know, something like that. I don't know where they came from, but that's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> I also got meditation. Of course, my four of swords is always, um, a note from source to meditate. Okay. If you are seeking or wanting answers about the past, present or future, it's like, I can, I can help you with it. Right. Um, we had the lovers a second ago, and now we have Gemini, same energy. And I just saw Capricorn, and look here where that looks like the same little devil face. But I see it as a difference. I see it as a transformation. So this is victory. So when the Four of Swords was in reverse, and it wasn't victory, and the devil self-sabotage and going back and these being a puppet to... Being controlled by your fears, addictions, and confusion. It's like if you personally don't have nothing to do with lovers and gifts. Just you. This is like a mental energy. Makes sense. Of mental farts. Brain farts, right? It's like, well, I'm stuck here. I don't know how to do it. And this is an energy that can figure anything out. So. Outcome. Love it. Two eights. Your purpose, your path is the way to abundance. Well, what do I do? 
What is my purpose? Where is my path? Somebody wants to know that. Somebody's getting frustrated. Um, because it's like, I know I have gifts or something fucking is going on. But I know something's going on. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. Or if this is the divine masculine feminine, which is so adorable when this happens. I have the masculine in the lead here. Totally taking honor and ownership of the battle of the sexes or whatnot. And then I have the feminine who is going through a thing, honey, right now. Okay? And I, I, I'm only laughing and it's fucked up. But <laughs> in a lot of the readings, the masculine and feminine roles are, re are reversed in gender. So you could be a woman and be the masculine. You could be a man and be the feminine because it's... It's about the energy and not the genitals. You could be two men and this is like you two, two women and this is you two. Or if this is you questioning something, wanting an answer, should I go, should I not? What is going to work for me? What won't? How can I get what's due to me? So it's like yes to... Whatever it is that you've become aware of, yes to something that you've seen. Also, I do see like your shadow aspect is a little pissant. Your light side is a little bit more pleasant. So for some of you where it's like, I want more friends. I want more attention. I want better business. I want him to see me, her to see me. I want to sell more cookies. I don't know what the fuck it is. Whatever. You have to calm down. Um, and then what I like about this is like, this is a, being assertive, but not in a sense of creating a stir, right? How these are all perfectly in alignment. It's like, I see you. I see you, hunty, being all calm, cool, and collected. But it's like something about right now, and maybe in the near future, some ruffles, feathers. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. Others of you, where there's been a block in communication from a dude or, or a strong, bossy-ass woman, um, somebody going to be talking soon. Now, traditionally, tarot says uh, the court cards are usually people, Okay. And so if the king of swords is one person and the, and the king of wands is one person, this could be an air sign and a fire sign. Now, the chariot for me is like this movement forward and it's also in the environment. So the environment could be uh, fast paced something, going a distance, traveling, a lot of communication. I'm telling you how I feel. Uh, I'm getting out of this shit. I'm not going to stay here stuck waiting on. Why was I going to say waiting on death? Like, I'm not going to die here in this town or in this relationship. I'm going to live the rest of my life. And that's super dope. And when I look at this abundance crowning you, something that's in the back of your mind or this new beginning that is beautiful with the eight of pentacles and the eight of wands, this is a payout of some sort. A shift. I like it. Whatever it is, I do like it. Okay, I do definitely love it. I want to work on this connection. I want to work on this connection. Maybe because you waited for me. Like, why do you keep fucking with me? I don't even know why you like me because I ain't been nice. That's kind of cute. We will continue this <laughs> um, through Patreon. So if you're interested, like I said, no big deal. Uh, the link is in the description box. And until next time, guys, namaste.